What's up, YouTube and Facebook? Welcome to another episode of Sharing the Gospel of Jesus Christ with Murph and special guest this week, my other little niece on my wife's side, Kayla. Say hi, Kayla. Hi. And uh, she's going to do some reading for us um, right after we go uh, into right, right after we have prayer. Uh, she'll read this for us, and then I'll go into my message. And I hope you all have had a blessed week. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and have prayer, and then we'll get in, right into the stories. Father, I come to you, Lord. I'm uh, so thankful to be able to come to you tonight, Lord. I've had such a blessed week, such just uh, an awesome walk with you, Lord. Just daily, I'm so glad that you walk with me and talk with me, Lord. And just get me through each day, get me through each situation, Lord. And I thank you for just giving me eternal life, Lord. I thank you for healing me of panic and anxiety. I thank you for healing my heart, Lord. I thank you for my family, my friends, all you've done for me, Lord. All you are doing, all you have done, and all you will do, Lord. I just pray that you touch someone right now, Lord. I pray you touch everyone that gets to watch this video and everyone who doesn't, Lord. Just whatever is going on in their life, Lord, you know each need, Lord. I don't. All I want to do is deliver an uplifting message, Lord, that will hopefully touch a life that you will be able to touch a life through, Lord. I love you, Father. I give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. I worship you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and let Kayla read here. Show them the picture first. We are almost finished, actually. So that means, you all know what that means. That means baby's almost here. Okay, she's going to read. Go ahead and tell them what the story's called. Why well, just says a special prayer? Where's it taken from? Taken from 1 Kings 18. Taken from 1 Kings 18. Okay, go ahead. Elijah made a big pile of wood for fire, but he did not light it. Elijah said, God will make a great fire. How big was that stack of wood? It was a pretty big stack of wood. We can't display it right here, but it was pretty big. Elijah prayed to God to show the people how powerful God is. Fold your hands pray. Fold your hands pray. Okay. Suddenly there was a flash and the wood caught on fire. God hears you every time you pray. God is always with you. Dear God, I'm glad you hear my prayer. Amen. Amen. Okay, show him the picture one more time. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> the title of the second story is... Jonah and the Big Fish. Take them from Jonah... One through two. Taken from Jonah one and two. Jonah was on boat. I can't see. There you go. Go ahead and read. Jonah was on a boat in a storm. He was thrown into the water and swallowed by a big fish. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah prayed to God, fold your hands to pray. God kept Jonah safe. The big, the big fish opens his mouth and Jonah came out. Can you open your mouth as big, as big as that fish? <laughs> God watches over you and keeps you safe. Thank you, God, for keeping me safe. Amen. Amen. Show me the picture. Good job, Kayla. Cool. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a close look. Mm hmm <coughs> Thank you very much, Kayla. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Kayla. Right <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, um, the message I'm going to be sharing with you all tonight, uh, I'll mention what, well, first I want to say, first I want to give you my message, and then I'll give you uh, some scripture. You can stick around, Kayla, if you want to. You can do what you want to do. But, um, I just want to say, uh, how many of you ever have watched uh, infomercials and you see uh, things trying to help you sleep? You see uh, beds, they try to sell you beds for thousands of dollars, they try to sell you Tylenol PM, anything under the sun they can sell you to give you uh, peaceful nights and to give you rest at night. And uh, I just want to say thank God, you know, um, that, you know, all that stuff is just a substitute. Uh, if you really want peace and rest at night, 
try knowing the maker, you know what I mean? The one that uh, knows, the one, the Father who has uh, created the world, gave us salvation, uh, and, you know, just our Lord that died on the cross for us to, to give us that salvation. And um, just try knowing Him. I mean, that's the real peace. That's the only way to ever really be able to get rest tonight is, you know, if you just know Him, there's no other... Um, there's no other supplement you need. There's no other. You don't have to go spend thousands of dollars on a bed. I mean, that's real peace. When I lay my head on my pillow at night, and I know that the Lord, my Savior, is my best friend, and that He's watching over me, and that you know He's my Father, and that He created this world, and that uh, He knows my heart, He knows my mind, He knows everything about me. And not only does he know everything about me, but he spoke this world into existence, and he keeps it going. And um, he is our provider. He is uh, our keeper, and um, that is that is all the peace and comfort we need. I mean, he is all we need. You know, he he really did turn my sleepless nights into sweet rest, and that's uh, a part of a song that I like really good. Uh, I am so blessed by the Browders. Uh, I don't know if anyone else sings it, so I don't, I'm not sure, but I know I've seen the Browders sing it in person. It's really a blessing, and uh, God is just so good, and He truly, you hear about it all the time, that God, you know, and I don't know, you know, a lot of you that aren't Christians, you may hear that, you know, the Lord can give you peace and give you comfort. Well, let me tell you, that's not just hearsay. That is the truth. The Lord is the truth. And He will give you comfort in your time of need. He will speak peace to your heart in the time of need. And, uh, you know, not to mention that He gives us eternal life uh, should we to choose to accept it and um, just have faith and be obedient and uh, believe that He is. And He most definitely is. And the verse I wanted to share with you all is uh, 1 Corinthians 2.9. It says, But it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. In other words, man has not even imagined the things which God has prepared for them to love him. And, um, I mean, just, I would say imagine, but, you know, it wouldn't even do no good. We can't imagine what God has planned for us if we would stay in his will and we'll just, uh, surrender to him and when I say that I say surrender and I that's the word I like to use because I surrender all to him but uh, when you hear the word don't let it scare you don't think that you know the Lord is trying to be um, you know treat you like a slave he gave us free will as I often um, as I often mention he gave us free will and uh, he gives us free will. And I mean, I, you know, I'm a Christian, and I can honestly say I love my life. I've lived both sides of the road, and I wouldn't trade anything for the way I live right now. And, you know, knowing that the Lord is my best friend and my Savior and my Father, and that he guides me with the Holy Spirit that lives in me every day, just knowing that, I wouldn't trade that for anything. And like I said, I've lived on both sides of the road. Uh, I'm only 27 years old. It's not like I've lived a long, long life, but I have lived before I uh, accepted Christ. You know, I've I've did the other things. I've uh, experienced sin. Yes, sin can be fun, but uh, like I said about the advertisements with the beds and stuff. You know, when you go down, when you go to sleep tonight, when you're living a, in a life, when you're living a life without Christ. That's when you need that stuff at night to sleep, and um, because you know, and it's still not going to give you the rest you need. It's still not going to give you the comfort you need. The only way to find comfort is in Christ, and in knowing Him, and in walking with Him, and in having a personal relationship with Him. And um, I mean, I just I love that verse, and I'm just going to read it one more time because I mean. Sometimes I like to sit around and I like to think about how heaven is. And not only heaven. I think this verse, it says the things which God has prepared for them to love Him. And I know that that's you know, talking about heaven too. But I also like to think of it as what He's prepared for us here on earth. If we'll just trust Him and love Him, He will take us anywhere. And this, 
this isn't just for people who aren't Christians. I want people who are Christians to hear this too and know, you know, be encouraged, be uplifted. Because I know it can get hard sometimes. You can have up days. You can have down days. You know, um, he's, he's the same God that he is on the mountain as he is in the valley. Sometimes it's hard to look at it like that, but it is true. Uh, as it says in a song that uh, my pastor's wife sings uh, often, or not often, but I heard her sing the other day, and I've heard it often before, though. Very great song, and something about when my pastor's wife sings it, just i got to fight the tears back. But anyway, that's, I just want to read this one more time. First um, Corinthians 2, 9, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love Him. And as I said before, this is in heaven. We can't even imagine that. And we can't even imagine the things that He has prepared for us in our life here, too. He wants us to live. He wants us to live abundantly uh, and serve Him and lead people to Him. That's the ultimate thing that we need to be doing is trying to let our light shine every day to just let people see, you know, to, to see Christ in us. Because we're nothing. We're not... Uh, I'll tell you firsthand, I'm not perfect. I'm not. Um, I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I'm nothing without Him, but with Him. Thank God. I've said it oftentimes, and I'll keep saying it the rest of my life. I have it hanging right there through Christ. I can do all things. So, though I am nothing, I know that with Him I can do all things. And um, I just pray for you. Uh, you all pray for me. I pray for everybody. Um, that you all have a great week, that uh, God blesses you this week, and just keep fighting a good fight because it is most definitely worth, worth it to see the fruits of your labor. It's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't trade my walk with the Lord for anything in this world. Uh, as Jason Crabb sings, I got to see him not the other night, um, this world. Um, I, I forgot the words, but anyway, it's a great song. Uh, this world can't offer anything. You know, it can't afford, yeah. This world can't afford what I have with my father. And uh, also, it was heavy. It was uh, Father's Day and uh, my birthday the other day, and I uh, got to celebrate that. But I got to, to celebrate uh, Father's Day for the first time, even though my little girl wasn't here yet. She's about to be. And uh, I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Uh, to my father, uh, my earthly father, I love him, and um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers watching out there, and also happy Father's Day to my father who is in heaven most of all, and thank him, I just want to thank him, for, take this opportunity, thank him publicly for everything that he does for me, and uh, yeah, you guys have a great week, I'm sorry this was so long, uh, I hope I wasn't just rambling on, I just want to let you guys know, be encouraged, be uplifted. Lord is good, and um, not only is He good, He's the best, I mean, you know, and if I have Him, I don't need anything else. I'm glad He's blessed me with other things, but I know that if I have Him, there's really nothing else I need. And He will, but if we, if you do have Him, the other things that you do need or that you do want in life, He will bring them, He will, he will give them to you. Just seek Him first and uh, give Him all the glory, the praise. Lord, I give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. Guys, just have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.